Hi, this is Becky from Kid World Citizen, and I'm going to be showing you one of our products today that teaches kids map vocabulary. The first activity in the packet, it correlates with a post I have on my website about the language of maps, map vocabulary all kids should know. This is a web quest that introduces kids to 28 different vocabulary words and they're going to go through the post and look at the pictures, the vocabulary words, and the definitions and record them on their web quest. They learn through the pictures and the maps that I have in the link. Here's the cardinal directions. The four cardinal points are north, south, east, and west, and it has a picture of a compass rose. And then they write it down here. This is a great introduction to map vocabulary, and it comes with an answer sheet, and of course the teacher can also access the website with the answers. The next activity is the map labeling activity. So students get the instructions that they need to follow. For example, in red, draw the equator. In orange, draw and label the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. They get a blank world map and they have to follow the instructions, labeling and drawing the colored lines in the appropriate places. In green, label the north and south poles. In the bottom left corner in brown, draw a compass rose and label the cardinal directions. The last activity can be used as an assessment or just as an activity in partners. Sometimes I cut it apart because it's really four separate sections. So for example, this section here, we're just talking about places on the map. We have the North and the South Pole, the Tropic of Cancer and Capricorn, Arctic Circle, and the Antarctic Circle. So the Arctic Circle would be the circle of latitude at 66 degrees north, and the Antarctic Circle, the circle of latitude at 66 degrees south. It's just a simple matching to review what they've learned in the lesson. So we've gotten a lot of great feedback on TPT for this activity on map vocabulary. I hope that you enjoy it. A lot of the teachers are using it in middle school and high school levels, uh, in geography classes, social studies, or just to increase geographic awareness, map skills, all of these important geography skills that our kids need to know to be successful in our global economy. I hope that you've enjoyed this. And look for all of my products on TPT and at kidworldcitizen.org. Thank you.